Welcome to Dateline Schools, a presentation of the St. Clair County Regional Educational Service Agency with your host, Chris Troy. There's a saying that we hear often these days, and that is food that is farm to table. Will St. Clair County students get a chance to find out just how that food is produced by taking part in the RED program this fall? And here to tell us all about it is third grade teacher at Garfield Elementary School, Katie Blashill. Katie, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So, RED. What is RED? Well, RED is short for Rural Education Day, and we're going to, we call it Project RED. It's going to happen here at Goodles Fairgrounds this week, and we're going to invite all of the county fourth graders to come and learn about our county and all of the rural jobs in our county, all of the agribusiness in our county, and all the animals that are raised in our county. Now, I read something about the St. Clair County Farm Bureau. Are they involved with this? St. Clair County Farm Bureau is the sponsor of Project RED, and Farm Bureau at the state and at the national level sponsor Project REDs across the state and across the country. In Michigan, every single county will host a Project RED this year. Katie, is this the first year of this, or how long has this program been going on? Um, this is not the first year. Project RED in our county has been happening for, this will be the 12th year we've had Project RED. We've reached hundreds and hundreds and thousands of kids in the last 12 years with a message about rural education. And how many students will take part in this program? This year we have about 600 students that are going to be participating that have enrolled. Katie, earlier this week you mentioned that you know, RED was kind of an acronym. What does it stand for again? Um, RED stands for Rural Education Day, so we're having Project RED, so we bring together all of the agribusiness leaders in the county, farmers in our county, um, FFA kids in our county to come together and teach kids about our rural economy in St. Clair County. And I guess that answers would be answer my next question. How many local farmers are involved with this program? This year, we've got um, volunteers from Star of the West. We have uh, volunteers from Nutrient Ag. Um, we have just gentlemen who farm who are coming, kids who have grown up on farms. And then we also have the um, KPAC FFA kids from the biotech program that are all coming to help us out. Katie, who will be lecturing at this program for the kids? So the kids will visit um, 11 stations. Each station will have a different topic. So we're going to have, like I said, the FFA kids are going to be presenting. We've got some plant and science kids that are going to be talking about corn and soybeans. We've got some animal science kids are going to be talking about their sheep program and their um, sheep and hog program. We've got some dairy farmers from the county that are coming to talk about dairy. We've got... Um, horticulture, bees, nutrition, um, and equipment. We've got some cool equipment guys coming to show the kids the, the large scale of the equipment that we use on the farms. And these aren't like rural students going to this. These are kids here in the city, and I bet they'd be, they'll be excited to see what, what's out there. They're super excited to see what's out there. Teachers always have a lot of really great feedback. The kids are super excited. They get to be in the barns at the fairgrounds. They get to touch the animals, learn about what the animals eat, see their feed, experience, you know, all aspects of, of you know, farming here in the county. Um, another thing that I think is really beneficial for the kids is just, you know, when you're coming out of the city schools, I think nine of Port Huron Area School District schools will be there. Most of these kids are in-town kids. They're not, they have very little experience um, outside of the city. Katie, this seems like a really cool opportunity for students to be out kind of in a rural setting. Um, what do you think the students will take away from this? What do you think, what do you hope the students will learn? Well, it seems like a lot of our students in our county um, don't really get an opportunity to interact with the rural portions of our county or the, the farms, the agribusiness kind of thing. Some of our kids don't even get a chance to go to the fair because it's so expensive. So when we set up Project Red, hopefully kids will get a pretty good idea of, you know, what animals we have here, what animals need to survive, um, and learn about some of the businesses that service the farms in our county. And how did you get involved with this? So I've been involved with... Um, Farm Bureau, I've been involved with 4-H, I've been involved with FFA, and so I was just approached. It's been going on for a long time. The lady who did it in the past is retiring. She moved on to some other 
um, volunteer activities and thought I would be a pretty good fit since I'm an elementary school teacher and I have a lot of background with all these organizations. Katie, is this a program, is this part of the Michigan State Extension, University Extension? It's not um, a program of Michigan State Extension, um, but we do have a lot of volunteers that come in and help us out from MSU Extension. Um, the, edu the county educators that are funded through the county definitely participate and help lead stations. And this year they'll be teaching kids about nutrition and about bees, and um, I think those are the volunteers that we'll have out this year. Katie, is 4-H involved in this program at all, or is this a program that could maybe encourage kids to get involved with 4-H? This is definitely a program that could encourage kids to get involved in 4-H. It is sponsored by St. Clair County Farm Bureau, um, but we do partner with Michigan State Extension. We partner with FFA and 4-H. So if kids are interested, they come, they see the sheep, and they are interested in sheep, we can certainly get them connected in a sheep 4-H club. Or if they're interested in learning about rabbits, we could get them involved in a 4-H rabbit club. It'd be a great place, a great resource for kids and parents to you know, connect with the right people to get involved with those organizations. Now, you mentioned the St. Clair County Farm Bureau a couple of times. Who are they? So St. Clair County Farm Bureau, it, when I say Farm Bureau, most people think about the insurance part of Farm Bureau insurance. St. Clair County Farm Bureau is associated with the insurance. We're funded through funds that come out of the insurance industry, but it's a grassroots organization. They have set it up so that each county, each state has funding available to help educate people about rural issues and farms and try and just really get out a message, a positive message about agriculture in our community. Katie, you always hear about STEM programs in schools. Um, it seems to me like this would be a pretty good avenue to think about being a STEM program. This is a great avenue to be a STEM program. Our teachers that attend Project Rad are going to be gifted some um, kits that will give them some supplies to do some STEM activities in their classrooms that are agriculturally based and tied into our state standards. And hopefully they'll um, have time and they'll get a chance to use those in their rooms and really tie in that STEAM or STEM component in their classrooms. Katie, thanks again for being with us this week. Um, what do you hope the students will learn during this event? I really hope that the kids and teachers alike and parents, everybody walks away with a positive message of agriculture. I feel like in the media, farms are really getting attacked for, you know, um, the way they conduct business and the way they raise their animals. Or I want them to walk away with a real positive message. I want them to know that um, people on farms are doing everything they can to provide safe and healthy food for our community and really take good care of their animals and do everything they can to provide the best living conditions for them as possible. If a parent wanted their student to get involved or a teacher or some program want to get involved with this, how can they get a hold of you or the program? I would love to have more people involved. If you're a teacher listening and you teach fourth grade, currently we offer this field trip to fourth graders in the county. Um, reach out to the County Farm Bureau. Get a hold of me. Um, you can give us a call right at the office, and we'll uh, we'll get you connected with the right with the right people and get you involved. And why are these programs so important? Well, I think every day each generation becomes a little bit more disconnected from the farm. If you think about it, your grandparents, everybody had a connection to agriculture. The way our society functions now, we're just one step further away from having that connection. And so I think it's important to bring everybody back because, you know, we live in a in a world in a country that we have readily accessible food. We have all the things that we need, and it's important to realize that it's coming right here, right from our state. Michigan is the fourth most diversified state in the country for agriculture, so it's really important that we just tie it back and we, we know where our roots are in our community. For Dateline Schools, I'm Chris Troy. Dateline Schools is a presentation of St. Clair County Resource.